Hi, I'm Martin Bridges and I've got an update to give to you regarding the situation on wobby numbers and natural gas in a particular area of Scotland. So there are four small towns in Scotland which presently receive their natural gas supply uh, via a tanker delivery taken from a uh, depot in Bristol, which is probably something not many of you were aware of. So on a virtual daily basis, tankers of liquefied natural gas are transported up to the Oban area of Scotland where the gas is then burnt off and distributed through their own gas network. Well the Bristol depot is closing so they've had to source the natural gas they require from somewhere else and they've actually purchased it from Zeebrugger but the wobby number of this gas is different to what they've been used to. So a series of trials are taking place uh, to see how this gas with a different wider wobby number affects the existing appliances that are installed. So it's quite interesting, there's 1,070 homes that have been tested and uh, engineers have gone into these properties, connected to the gas supply of that property three different gases and just observed and taken CO and CO2 measurements of the appliances in operation. And interestingly, all the appliances worked correctly uh, within the, uh, the operating sort of situation or conditions you would expect them to operate on with natural gas. So now this trial is sort of semi-concluded. We're now doing some further inspections on the temperature of the appliances just to make sure nothing untoward happens. But there's now a movement taking place where the uh, country may be moving to widen the wobby number on the whole of the UK gas supply. We may be some months or even years away from this taking place but there are a number of local gas situations, there's one very close to Worcester as an example where there's an anaerobic digestion system where they're injecting methane gas into the natural gas network and that is appearing to work perfectly okay with no changes to the appliances being necessary and there are a number of those dotted all over the country. So a movement is taking place where we're going to ask for the wobby number to be widened throughout the country to enable this sort of less carbon intensive gas to be injected into the grid. That may have knock-ons for other uh, aspects of appliances where presently there is no need to annually or there is no legal requirement to annually service appliances that may well have to change uh, if after further inspection it's confirmed that the combustion perhaps isn't as consistent as it is today with the straightforward very consistent natural gas we presently use. So interesting times where gas as a whole is changing slightly and of course uh, there are wider discussions taking place about substituting natural gas in its entirety with hydrogen and times as close as 2025 is being floated as a possibility where the town or city of Leeds changes to hydrogen gas uh, as a whole. So that's only 10 years away. So interesting times really with the gas, gas quality and the constituents within gas and appliances in general.